How's it going, everybody? This is Blake from Blake's Builds. Uh, it's a lovely morning here in Kentucky, and today I would like to get my headers on uh, on my 2003 Silverado with the 5.3. Um, they're just eBay headers, uh, probably about the cheapest you can find. Um, I have already looked in the engine bay at the exhaust bolts, you know, the ones that just they break on their own. Uh, I am missing three already, so I will be, you know, trying to extract those studs out of the heads um, as we go today. Uh, other than that, hopefully it's a very smooth transition, but uh, I guess first things first, uh, I'm going to pull my 1947 Chevy Fleet line out of the garage so I can get the silver auto in there on jack stands so I can get it right there. Thanks for joining me. My First things first, I guess I'm going to get the exhaust disconnected from the headers. Um, I just pretty much have a mid pipe. It dumps right before the axle. Um, you know, uh, something pretty simple, something I made myself. It's not the greatest, but it's a super 10 knockoff single chamber, you know. Uh, so, but I'll bring y'all along when I get everything under there. I got to get the truck up on jack stands because it's a little too low for a big boy like me to fit underneath all right we're under the truck first things first i'm going to disconnect uh this back part of the exhaust um pretty much right there at the y pipe and then next i'm gonna go up there and get the uh pipe disconnected from the headers on either side yeah my pipe is absolutely destroyed under here uh it's one of the perks of having a lowered vehicle um you can see all the rock that's up in there. I just collected that from backing in. It's absolutely insane. Um, all right, I will get this all disconnected and I'll see y'all on top. All right, I have the exhaust disconnected from underneath. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, having a lower truck makes it 10 times harder than it normally would be. Um, I wasn't worried about saving any of the uh, crossover, the Y pipe. Or, you know, I've already had the cats cut off of this, so I didn't worry about any saving of any. I just went to it with a hacksaw to get it out. Because if not, I'm pretty sure you have to drop the transmission brace, the, the mount, the rear transmission mount brace. You have to drop it to get the, you know, the the mid pipe, you know, the, where they come in the merge into one before they head back to the, you know, the rear exit. Um, so I did mention before that I was already missing a few bolts um i tried to get a light over here so y'all could see uh right down there see that that one's missing the one in the very back is missing and the one in the very back on the passenger side is missing as well so i will be having to either get some channel locks and back those out or get my hobo freight uh flux core welder out and try to remove the studs myself um, they have to come out I, I don't think there's any way i can get around that uh, it'd be one major exhaust leak if i didn't so i'm gonna go through and try to break these free and if i run into the, any issues or if i get it off and i'm ready to try to remove those studs i bring you all, all right one thing i forgot to mention you are gonna have to remove the plug wires um i'm gonna leave the spark plugs in i don't see any reason to remove them um so usually the best way to remove these is just to grab them kind of give them a twist and twist and pull there we go yep so there's the first one out i'm gonna go ahead and get the other eight get them out of the way and then i'll take out the bolts all right i have i'm on the passenger side i have removed all the bolts out of off the manifold um 
so now I'm going to remove the dipstick. Uh, they do like to rust off down at the bottom. I'm really hoping that this one um, hasn't uh, because it can be a pain in the butt to get it out. Um, so let me see. All right, I was able to get the tube out. A little word of advice, something I learned. Uh, I did have to put two of the bolts back into the manifold just to be able to reach and grab this. Um, I would recommend removing this before you take the bolts out of the manifold because once it's just kind of hanging there, it's really just in the way. Um, I just unbolted it from the head and just started twisting a little bit and I could see it moving down in the bottom. So then I just started yanking and she came out. All right. All right, so I've got the header out there. It just literally pulls up towards the front of the radiator and comes, you know, through your heater core lines and your AC lines. It just pulls out pretty nicely. Um, so the bad thing is that bolt on that very back, the last bolt, it is broke off, actually recessed to the head. Um, I'm gonna get out my Hobo Freight welder and uh, try if I can weld a nut on there and back her out. Well, I'm not a welder, uh, and I ran out of wire, um, so I'll probably just make this into a two-part. Um, I'm going to have to uh, go into town tomorrow uh, after work and get some more welding wire. I was really hoping to get this thing done today, but obviously it's, it's not going to happen. So... Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull off the other side. Just uh you know, just get a little bit closer to being done. Uh I am gonna have to pull it back out of the garage. Um I'm I'm guessing it'll be okay with no manifolds on it. But I guess we we have to try it and find out. So I got everything buttoned back up, got this side off. Uh the front stud, I can't really tell in there. It is sticking out, but the back one is broke off flush as well. So, three out of 12, I guess that's not the worst, but still kind of sucks. Um, I will get a uh, running video to see how ridiculous this sounds. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what you'd call it. Open block? It wouldn't even be like open manifold. There's just nothing there. Of course, there's no O2 sensors either. I did put my mass airflow back on. Maybe it'll run a little bit better. But let's see. All right. We'll see how ridiculous this is. gonna be it for today uh might run to the hobo freight tonight but probably won't work on it again till tomorrow after work uh it's hot i'm tired i probably still won't be able to weld to those <laughs> studs and get them out but you know still gonna try uh thanks for watching um i guess come back for part two see if i get it done i mean something's gonna have to happen <laughs> You know, I really don't want to have to, like, pull the head or get somebody else in here uh, to help me do it. Like, you know, I'm doing this myself. But it is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, I am give, doing a giveaway for the first 100 subscribers. So if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and, you know, subscribe. <laughs> so anyway, see you next time.